Hi, everyone. I'm here to talk to you about how I became an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm not an entrepreneur anymore, uh, but I was at one point in time, and kind of here's my story. When I was in my early 20s, I had a job working at a nuclear power plant. And so what I did is I was in a room and it was all concrete. There were no windows and everyone had like this little desk and this little cubicle with walls and you couldn't see anybody else. And I worked from six at night until six in the morning. And I was only allowed to leave the room twice every night for 15 minutes. And I had to tell someone anytime that I left. And my job was um, to buy parts for that nuclear power plant um, on if there was an emergency. And so there was a lot of stress. I really hated the job. I could never see my friends because I worked at night. Um, so I was asleep when they were awake. And um, I worked six nights per week. So I worked 72 hours a week doing a, something I absolutely hated. Um, I made a lot of money, but I hated the job. And so one night I remember um, I was sitting there at work and I was like, this is not what I wanna do forever. Um, I don't like it. And why am I doing it? And so I started making a list of all the things that I really enjoyed doing with my free time that if it could be a job, uh, that I would find a way to do it. And um, the, one of the things that was on my list was I love to kayak. So I like to go out and paddle a kayak. And a friend of mine loved to go kayaking too. And he had said one day his dream would be to own a kayak business. I said, well, why not? Right? Like, why not do this? So I called my friend at work from work in the middle of the night. And I said, hey, do you still want to have a kayak business? Do you want to do it together? And he said, yes. Um, and so what I would do is uh, I started saving all my money from working overnight as much as I could. Um, and I saved $15,000 really quickly. And my friend and I got a business license and we bought a, a kayak trailer and we bought like 30 boats and paddles and, and everything else. And we just started our business. We just started doing it. Um, we reached out to summer camps and the people we knew and started forming relationships and finding places that we liked to kayak. Um, and so we took mostly kids, middle and high school age, um, elementary as well. And we would take them out kayaking for two or three hours at a time um, in all these really kind of beautiful places. And we'd see birds and fish and otters and turtles. And um, we'd take them swimming while we were out there and just really, really cool stuff. Um, and it was great. Like I owned that business with my friend for five years. We loved it. Uh, it was, it was awesome. And we eventually just kind of decided we wanted to do, uh, something else. So I sold my half of the business, uh, for some money and went to become a teacher, but I always loved being an entrepreneur because when you're an entrepreneur, there's a certain amount of being in charge, like you're in charge of the decisions and you can make good decisions or bad decisions, but it's really exciting to be able to create something new, something that is, you can say is yours. Um, but for me, what I enjoyed the most was is it was a way for me to teach people about the importance of the environment and to put a smile on their face. And that's what I always loved the most about being an entrepreneur. It wasn't about the money that I made. It was that I made people happy and I did it doing something that I loved. And so those were five really amazing years of my life. And I would encourage you that if you're trying to figure out what you want to do in life, being an entrepreneur, while there's some risk involved, you know, if you're smart about it and you use um, your friends and your network to get advice and you do your research, being an entrepreneur is a really satisfying thing uh, that can make you happy and you can earn the money that you need to earn to live the life that you want. Um, and entrepreneurs are really important to our communities because if we didn't have entrepreneurs, we wouldn't have companies, people wouldn't have jobs, people wouldn't have houses or money or any of these things. Uh, so entrepreneurs are extremely important and uh, it's just a great way to live your life and to go about it um, and to, you know, I think to make the most of the time that you have uh, as an adult and working. And one thing I tell kids all the time is if you try to be an entrepreneur when you're little, have a lemonade stand, um, have yard sales, um, participate in your school store right? It's a little bit different than an entrepreneur, but it's some good experience. Um, participate in the Junior Achievement Company Program, where you get to learn what it's like to plan and run a business 
uh, before there's real risk involved. And you know, not every business is successful. Um, the times that I did it for practice, I failed terribly and that was okay, I learned a lot. Uh, but being an entrepreneur, owning a business, it's a lot of stress, but it's a lot of fun. Can put a big smile on your face and you can do a lot of good. So if you're thinking that's the right way to go for you, I encourage you to try it. Don't be afraid to take the risk or to take the leap. And uh, I can tell you now, like once you've done it once, you'll probably wanna do it again. I'm already trying to figure out what my next business will be. And I'm sure I'll own another one uh, before I get too, too old and retire. Uh, it'll happen again. But good luck. Entrepreneurship is really cool. Uh, I encourage you to not be afraid to take a risk, take a shot, find a way to do something that you love and have some control over it. Good luck.